about six months ago or so, I bought a property um, with someone who I know. It's actually uh, someone who used to be my boss uh, at my old job. We uh, invested in a house uh, for the purpose of it being a rental property. I really feel like we did it about the hardest way that you could do it when you're starting out. The difficult part really comes uh, when it comes down to the numbers. The middle wage that most people are making in the town that I live in, I think I've heard as low as even 18000 a year. Uh, I live in Indiana in a small, you know, town of about 35, 40,000 people. This investment I've put into it, you know, cash that I already have, like just from being really frugal and saving, I've put in, it's going to be close to, at the end of this month, $16,000. I'm investing maybe 60% or so of my net income of the money that I actually see into this property. So far, I have yet to see a single penny in returns or even getting any money back um, as far as it getting rented out. And the reason why is because we basically, I mean, my partner, we had to learn the business from scratch, but basically went through and bought a property at auction, bidding against people who know what they're doing. Um, you know, of course, someone was bidding on the house too, so it rose the price. Um, and we ended up getting the place, and it's been under renovation for the past six months. Uh, we had to hot fire a contractor because he was sketchy, um, he was doing a lot of weird stuff. A lot of his workers, I think they were even junkies possibly, you know, on dr hard drugs or something, it seemed pretty sketchy. He was unreliable and it took him a long time to get stuff done. Um, but we, uh, in that process, we actually found a guy who was pretty good for us too. Um, he was a bit more expensive than what we wanted to see. But this guy ended up, he, he was a lot cheaper than if we went to like a normal contracting company and had the work done, so he's cheaper. Um, he's still done the work pretty quick. Like I said, it's been six months, but we started, we bought the property um, at the end of January. Um, and of course it was winter. Uh, the property had black mold throughout the whole downstairs apartment. It's a duplex. Uh, and in the upstairs, there was a bit of mold. Um, you know, obviously like the carpets were crap. Uh, the downstairs, all of the flooring was ruined, like the floorboards were warped and bent and loose and the carpet was obviously molded and useless at that point. Uh, so we had to do a full renovation, really, of the entire place. And it's not a small place, I mean it's a, it's a two unit building so that's good, it'll give more cash flow is the hope um, of doing that versus single family. but. Um, so it's been a, so far to date, $16,000 learning experience. Um, but the good thing about real estate and investing is um, don't think of that as money lost. Like, yeah, I, I've withheld that money from myself and didn't get to enjoy that money this year. Um, and I will probably not touch that money or anything that comes from that money maybe for up to like five years or something. I won't really see any any returns from that. We are gonna get the place refinanced, that's the plan, you know, is to go refinance the house um, so I can get another and, you know, keep moving forward. Um, but once you refinance, your cash flow is gonna be a lot smaller um, and it might end up being to where I'm making just such a small amount from that house, at that point it's better to reinvest in the company that we created. And it is kind of time consuming to get all this started. Um, you know, six months or so. Um, you know, we waited because it was winter. We didn't want to start the renovation in winter. Um, by the time the weather got warmer, you know, we're, we're starting to look at, into people, getting quotes. Uh, and then we're getting quotes from contracting companies and we're like, wow, this is ridiculously expensive. I mean, I personally at least couldn't have afforded to go that route. So I was like, well, we need to look at a cheaper route. And he's, I mean, my partner was like, well, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you know, 
they're way too expensive anyway whether you have the money for it or not just as an investment it makes more sense to go a little bit more inexpensive route uh, than the than going with like a contracting company um, at least for me so far uh, so you know we went through all that and then you know we got the electrical work done um, the guy said it was all had all been seen by an inspector and it met all the it was up to code met all the re regulations he showed me a piece of paper he was showing me all the check marks He's like see all this stuff is good they've been back there about five times at this point now to the property to fix work that they never did in the first place that they were paid to fix um, and it's kind of my fault like I, I'm new to this I didn't know I don't know how to see immediately or even check for sure, you know, is the electrical work they did good? I mean, I kind of just went off their word. Uh, I mean, I looked it up, the guy had good reviews, so I went with him, and uh, it's been such a mess. That's one of the headaches as a young entrepreneur, especially if you're trying to start in real estate. Whether it's real estate, online business, whatever, it doesn't matter, you're gonna have headaches, I guarantee you that is part of business and part of the the reason why I think a lot of people fantasize about running their own business and they think it's such a good thing is because they see the successful examples of people who are currently running businesses and they're in charge of things and they might be making decent money more than that more than most people but the problem is just there's so much work that goes into creating something yourself there really is and it's because of all that shit that you have to go through that basically makes it so that 99 percent of people or the vast majority of people will not ever fully realize the business idea that they want they they might have an idea and it might even be a good idea but they won't necessarily follow through and a lot of it's just making that first step because once you're invested you're invested and uh, you've got to get something out of it is what it turns into a lot of people today it's part of our culture now especially with people my age we think entrepreneur ship is cool. I'm personally learning the challenges, the risks, and the my you know mild or moderate hardships that come along with it. It's something that you're voluntarily choosing to go through something that isn't pleasant. Uh, and I think that's one of the biggest reasons why people, most people don't do bus business. They don't do their own businesses. They'd rather just go with someone else. I uh, just wanted to give a video, give some insight. Uh, from my personal experiences I want to give my own experience because I think that's really the best value that I can give at this point in my life yeah let me know if you found any of this interesting if there's any topic that I talked about so far that you'd like to hear more about uh, let me know and I, I will make more videos about it feel free to like comment subscribe uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, it would help me just to build the channel. I'll see you guys in another video, and uh, thanks for watching.